A pedophile who wore a wolf mask while he raped a schoolgirl in a park has been jailed for 12 years. The rapist, identified only by the name Christoph K., 45, ambushed and raped the 11-year-old while she was walking in a park in broad daylight in Munich, Germany. He was jailed for 12 years over the attack in the district of Obergiesing at around midday on June 25, 2019. A court heard he photographed and stalked the girl through the park. The convicted pedophile had only just been released from a secure psychiatric institute ahead of a decision to release him permanently when he targeted his victim. He wore the wolf mask and latex gloves as he dragged her into a bush where he raped her. He also pulled her jacket over her face so she could not see him, his sentencing hearing was told. The court heard he told his victim, lay still for at least five minutes, I know where you live and I will harm you and your family if you tell them. As soon as she returned home, the girl reported the attack. The rapist was arrested at his workplace two days later after his DNA was found at the crime scene and on the victim's clothes. During the trial on Tuesday, Christoph K. admitted he disguised himself with a wolf mask, which he later disposed of in a bin near his home. He also admitted that he had dragged the girl into the bushes and raped her. Convicted pedophile Christoph K. had previously been sentenced to 11 months in prison after he was found guilty of 17 counts of child abuse in 2010. He was locked up in a secure psychiatric clinic in Munich before being released into an assisted living unit. The Munich Regional Court accepted that Christoph K. planned the attack beforehand and was prepared for the deed. Prosecutors rejected the defense plea to have him put back in psychiatric care immediately and sought a 14-year jail term. However, the court ruled that he should be jailed for 12 years and after his release he should be sent to a secure psychiatric hospital where he would have to remain until doctors decided he was safe to be released. According to local media, the accused, who was allowed to hide his face in court, remained silent during the trial. His lawyer lodged an appeal against the sentence immediately after the hearing ended, according to Bild. 